Good morning. Did Jeremiah lie to the princes? Our reading today is at Jeremiah chapter 38, verses 24 to 28. Let's take a look at it. Then Zedekiah said to Jeremiah, Let no one know of these words, and you shall not die. But if the princes hear that I have talked with you, and they come to you and say to you, Declare to us now what you have said to the king, and also what the king said to you. Do not hide it from us, and we will not put you to death. Then you shall say to them, I presented my request before the king, that he would not make me return to Jonathan's house to die there. Then all the princes came to Jeremiah and asked him, and he told them according to all these words that the king had commanded. So they stopped speaking with him, for the conversation had not been heard. Now Jeremiah remained in the court of the prison until the day that Jerusalem was taken, and he was there when Jerusalem was taken. So the king didn't want the princes, the people who manipulated and bullied and influenced and swayed him, he did not want them to know uh, the full extent of this conversation with Jeremiah. So he asks Jeremiah to reveal only that he had asked the king uh, about his accommodation. I don't want to be in this part, in the prison in this space, that the conversation was about that, which, which it was in part. Now, as you saw yesterday morning, they had discussed a lot more than this. So here's what happens. When the people, when the princes come, Jeremiah responds to them just as the king asked him to. He tells them, you know, this, we talked about, I didn't want to be in prison in this place anymore, in this way, and that's what we talked about. The people, nobody overheard the actual conversation. So the princes go away, none the wiser. So now here's the question. Was Jeremiah lying to the princes? Now, notice there was some coercion involved, right? These people are threatening Jeremiah's life. Now, notice this also. In God's order, these princes don't have any particular authority for Jeremiah. The king certainly has authority, but these random princes and random bigwigs and important people, they don't have very much particular authority over Jeremiah. So that's another factor in the whole situation. In contrast, the king, who did have authority, asked Jeremiah to respond in a certain way. Now, some people would say that telling only part of the conversation was lying because only part of the truth is being told. But think about this. Jeremiah is being asked to reveal information that it is not within the prince's authority to have revealed to them. They don't have any basis, any authority for demanding this information from Jeremiah. They are coercing him. They're threatening his life. They have crossed the line. They're not doing anything for his goodwill. It's all about, you know, what they, it's all about their private plottings. So when people themselves breach ethics, when people themselves are using coercion against you for their own purposes, you're not in a just situation. You are being put into a situation of force and manipulation. Romans 13 talks about giving proper obedience, giving obedience to those who have actual legitimate authority over you. These people don't have any legitimate authority to know about this conversation between the king and Jeremiah the prophet. They just don't. So in terms of telling part of what happened rather than the whole, I don't think Jeremiah was lying at all. Jeremiah was respecting the authority of the king. Jeremiah was respecting the right degrees of authority. These people were not, and they were not entitled to this information. If the police officer pulled you over and said, okay, let me see your driver's license, you'd give it to him. If he said, also, I want the credit card number and the expiration date and your, your CV code. I, I want the code so I can use your credit card. You wouldn't give it to him, would you? No, you wouldn't. That's private information. He's not entitled to that. The conversation between the king and Jeremiah, these other people were not entitled to that information. Even the book of Proverbs speaks of our withholding information from those who would use it to destroy us. Let's pray about this. Dear Father in heaven, please give us wisdom to walk through tight and difficult places. Give us wisdom to do that as men and women of principle. We want to be right. We certainly don't want to tell an untruth anywhere or misrepresent anything. So Lord, please you guide us so that we are men and women of principle. Thank you for hearing our prayers today. In Jesus' name, amen. If you ask me, Jeremiah did not lie to the murderous princess. God be with you today and give you wisdom for every situation you face.